Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and the beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Liam explained to her hope's own history. The bold and the beautiful recap for August 18, 2023 has Liam reminding hope of all the awful things her current boyfriend has had her go through. Dot as if she wasn't there and is incapable of recalling events for herself. In addition, Brooke waxed poetic about the predicament her daughter was in, while Rich meddled in Steffi's affairs without getting any thanks. Let's now delve a little more into what actually occurred. Considering it again, Hope and Liam, who had been practically coerced into a relationship by Beth's loving family, retreated to the cabin they had previously called home after becoming overburdened with Beth's excess gifts. Hope argued that they had treated their daughter right, while Liam pitifully questioned whether they had. Their young daughter is beaming. She will, however, remain content until they inform her of the upcoming divorce. The divorce, of course. Liam wished to discuss that with Hope. The expected press encroachment came first. And last, the slander. You know, seven-year-olds talk, especially their mothers. Liam wants to protect Beth as much as he can from harm. Then Liam sternly questioned Hope about how she could turn to the wicked, wicked Thomas and allow him to stand in their way. This father was prepared to let her weep for the rest of time for her own daughter, a person who intended to continue letting his sister raise Beth as her own. But despite everything, despite his rage and his hurt, Liam still loves and cares about Hope and he needs her to understand that whatever transpires between them, she is superior to Thomas. The links that connect. The group gathered at the Forrester Mansion agreed that Beth's birthday celebration had been a huge success. Deacon was nevertheless concerned about how Beth would respond to the news of her parents' divorce. Ever Chipper Brooke mused that such information might never be shared. No, Hope and Liam had put up too much of a fight and loved their family too much to simply cave and end their union. Priorities Rich requested that Steffi share her problems with him at Forrester Creations. He is aware that unlike someone they both know, he is not a well-known psychologist in the world, but he is an excellent listener and, occasionally, he can offer some really sound counsel. Steffi acknowledges that she hates being away from her husband and her house, but she can't help but feel annoyed by everything Shayla. The villainous lady has no right to claim Finn. How can she? Steffi owns him. Steffi's only. Ridge reassured Steffi that he would take all necessary precautions to keep her and the kids safe, which made her think about Liam. Ridge found that comment strange. Why mention her ex now? What exactly is happening between the two of them? Rich said he wasn't enamored of Liam's admission that he was still in love with Steffi when she hedged. Steffi agreed. She has no desire to get back together with her ex. Nothing. Liam repeats his heartfelt appeal. According to Bold and the beautiful spoilers for August 21, 2023, Liam is once again taking risks. But this time, who is the object of his affection? Watch to find out is the most infamous waffler in town set to waffle once more. Liam has been courting a very married Steffi for the better part of three weeks, but she has made it clear that she is not interested. Is he about to make another move, or is he about to try, try, and try again? Liam continues his mischief. Steffi may not want to live with her husband again, but it doesn't mean she doesn't love him. Liam is aware of that. However, he has also stated that she is his one and only, and he would sacrifice anything for another chance. How many times does she have to decline his advances before he gets the hint? He could have a better chance of bringing Hope back. Yes, he adores her as well. Hey, she's been known to play second fiddle before. Perhaps she'll agree to do so once more, if only for Beth. Does Liam open out his heart to her? Steffi wants solutions. Steffi, for example, is adamant about getting all of her inquiries answered. She is anxious, tense, and in mother bear mode. While Sheila is prowling around, she is unable to sleep. 
The only way she can even consider exhaling in relief is to express all of her worries and seek confirmation. Will she obtain what she requires? And will this make it possible for her to return home? Although it's great to live in the mansion, Steffi's life is in the cliff house, and she misses it and Finn more than words can convey. Liam and Hope talk about their relationship. Although divorce papers have been completed and are prepared for filing, does this mean that Liam and Hope's relationship is over? Is Lope's nearly ideal family life in the cottage really over now? It was once a dream come true, but that dream is now disappearing. Two significant issues. Hope's hot and cold relationship with Thomas isn't helping the problem. She used to have nightmares about the man, but now he's setting her world ablaze in all the right ways. Has she had time to process it? Thomas, don't worry, there's another forester tearing this union apart. Liam has often shown that he will alternate between Hope and Steffi. Look at how quickly he attacked her. It was only a few minutes. While he persisted in attempting, Steffi did send him away when he made one final attempt at kissing her. What steps should we take next? What is the current situation with Liam and Hope? They will get down and discuss what will happen next and how they intend to navigate these perilous waters. The least they can do is get along well enough for the kids if they can't solve what's wrong. Is it even feasible to co-parent in a healthy way at this point? In case you missed it, Soap Hub's very own in-house critic gives his, sometimes scathing, and sincere assessment on the bold and the beautiful week that was every Sunday. If you missed their most recent review, click here to catch up, and then leave a comment with your thoughts. Steffi orders Lamb to go because she understands. Ridge and Brooke also organized the one billionth wedding. Let's now delve a little more into what actually occurred. Remorse only. When a worried Thomas called, Steffi answered and admitted that it was strange not to be in the house with Finn. Finn was pacing the house he had lived with Steffi. Finn quickly burst through the door, saying he didn't want to be separated from his wife and children for another night. He also discovered Mikey, Hayes' favorite stuffed bear. Finn revealed how much he missed her and specifically what he missed about her, her smile, her laugh, and her in general, while taking Steffi's hands in his. Steffi argued that she also missed Finn. She also desired returning home. The youngsters needed to be roused so she could return them to their rightful place. However, it was not going to occur. Not while Sheila posed such a current and obvious threat. Later that evening, a Mooney Liam entered the mansion, mounted Steffi, and insisted on saying what he had to say. He referred to Steffi as the most amazing woman he had ever encountered and highlighted all of her qualities, including her strength, courage, and status as a badass in the truest sense of the word, while also being kind, delicate, and caring. Liam acknowledged that he was fortunate to have ever known her affection and that he was still deeply in love with her and always would be. He wanted it to be known that this was the case. Steffi moved her head away as Liam leaned in for another kiss at that point. Once his lips had left her cheek, she suggested slash demanded, you should leave. Marriage favor. Ridge and Brooke were kissing, cuddling, and looking over various wedding dresses at Forrester Creations in the meantime. They were all beloved by Brooke. Each one was even more exquisitely molded than the previous one. However, Brooke decided that she chose D, which would be a design she liked, as opposed to choosing A, B, or C. Ridge acquiesced with joy. Thanks for watching if you liked this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.